So, as well, most of the ships, you know, they brought the slaves to, to the Americas. They were, they were even owned by the Swiss. And then we talk about Swiss. And, you know, in Switzerland, we know we have to say Templars now and Freemasons. Because this is where it started. That's why this country was in no war at all. And they say, the Swiss say, oh, we are so clean, you know, we had to def defend ourselves, you know, against these horrible Europeans, the French and the Germans, you know. But they lie. It's the other way around. The Swiss terrorized France completely, you know, and uh, just before the, uh, the French Revolution at La Bastille, there was a French, there were Swiss mercenaries who terrorized the whole of Europe and uh, they were torturing and uh, keeping prison, imprisoned uh, French um, uh, citoyens, citizens. And which was worse, worse actually, that was the 30 year old war, the 30 year war, that was the worst war in, uh, in Europe. And um, more than 100,000 Swiss mercenaries, they murdered more than a million Germans. And because the Swiss, you know, they had to, everybody was a peasant at those days. was a peasant at those days, so the uh, Swiss mercenaries, they had to come back like around the 1st of August, you know, to help, because the, around the 1st of August, uh, roughly the, uh, uh, the harvest started, and then they came back loaded with uh, looting uh, goods, you know, from all over, all over Europe, and uh, then they shot ones in the air with their muskets, you know. Uh, they had their horses and, and donkeys loaded and mules. And they shot ones in the air with the, uh, their muskets. Kadung! And then the Swiss came pouring down the mountains and, you know, from the forest and the fields where they were working. And then they celebrated the murder of the Europeans and their children, which they still do until today's day. On the 1st of August, which is a national holiday, where they celebrate, you know, the Swiss mercenaries coming back. And this is why the Swiss man still has his assault rifle, you know, a, a, like an M16, like, or a Kalashnikov, in his house, in the cupboard, under his bed, completely legal. Every man has it here. And um, th this, this is a typical mercenary tradition, you know. And um, so after the Oktoberfest festivities, the Swiss mercenaries... You know, they, um, they went back uh, he, 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 um, terrorizing Europe, terrorizing Europe. And uh, after the 1st of August, um, he cleaned his rifle and put some, uh, some pig's grease on it. And then he put it in the cupboard until after the October festivities. And then they went back and um, terrorizing the Europeans. So from the 1st of August up until um, the end of October, was a time of, uh, of, of peace for the Europeans, you know, because these Swiss mercenaries were not there. That's why we still have the Pope's guard. You know, these, uh, they are the Swiss mercenaries. That, that's what left of it. There's still about 500. Now we are in tune from speeds, we're going direction uh, Bern. This river is the Aare. And um, here we see one of the most secretive sy symbols. It's the sun hieroglyphics. If you see this here, it means we are living here. You can knock on the door if you also have pharaonic offspring. And we'll organize to, uh, to kill him, the, um, to finish them off, the Europeans and their children in secret societies. Like now we've got our uh, internet and cell phones and all that. Well, in the Middle Ages, we didn't, they didn't have it. And as they are so mixed, they've got problems to recognize each other. So um, they have these symbols so they could recognize each other and like organize. Here we got on top here is the Freemasonry Triangle and other secret symbols. So this house is really full of it. The house next to it, there, again. The sun hieroglyphics in a slightly different form, but it is here. 
Yeah. If we look at the other side here, what do we see here? Two obelisks. So what are the, these pharaonic symbols doing here? They apparently, I, they apparently have 33 stones. And the one on top is called the keystone. You know, like uh, in all the magazines, all the pictures being done, like the photographs is keystone. Uh, they, are, they, are, they are true Freemasons, of course. So, what is it doing here? So, it said in the Bible, the Pharaoh and its army disappeared in the sea. But that means they disappeared in the sea of people. They are within us. The enemy within can't be recognized anymore. George Bush, Tony Blair, the whole bloody lot. Uh, and this is why the um, Freemasons, they got the secret letter, the G. Well, it's not that secret anymore. You know, and uh, they have a ring with the G and, you know, and within the, their symbol they got the G. They say it's from God or the Grand Orient. You know, the big Mason Lodge. It is not true. It's from the Hebrew word Gola or Golut, which means diaspora. It means they came over the, all over the world. And um, so many peoples had a diaspora. You know, the Kurdic people, the Armenians, the uh, Albanians, and also the uh, pharaohs did. Pharaohs finally. Switzerland was the biggest base in Europe with which they conquered Europe. That's why they speak four languages here. So the French speaking Swiss, they can um, do their things like in France and the German speaking ones like in Germany and the Italians of course to the south. So they can go all directions and Switzerland is very central. All the water, like all the water of Central Europe is coming from here. And um, then they finally um, founded America. Well, first of all, they say America is uh, from Americo Vespucci, the guy after Columbus uh, founded uh, the Americas or discovered the Americas. You don't call a country North Street after one's fir first name. So it should be the United States of Vespucci, logically, honestly. But I tell you what it means. Every syllable, I'm a historian, and I translated the word America. Every syllable in the word America has a very important pharaonic or Freemasonry uh, meaning. A ah means big or pregnant. When a woman is pregnant, she's quite big. Me, mer or meru is the word for pyramid. Ri. It's the word for the sun, like the sun god, Re or Ra. And Ka is the soul when we live. When we die, they call it Ba. That's why the Arabs have the Ka Ba, the big stone in Mecca where they turn around like. And if you put Allah behind Kaaba, you get Kabbalah, the Kabbal. So this is not a coincidence. And if you read America from right to left, it means the reincarnation of the big pyramid will take place where our souls will live. And look at the dollar, there she is, you know, the uh, reincarnation of the big pyramid. And look at what the Americans are doing. Conquered the new world, they called everything with car. This is there where our souls will live. America, Chicago, California, Canada, Alaska. North Carolina, South Carolina, Kansas, Jamaica. In Europe, we already had Africa. Re a lot of sun in Africa. Um, Stan, um, Corsica, uh, the Canary Islands, uh, Cameroon. They're ruling all over the world. And they've got all key positions. And where they have key positions or rule like in the city, they dress up these things here like this here. Like in New York, and like in Washington, excuse me, 
In every American movie, they show the big Oval East in Washington. That means we're ruling the world, we're indoctrinating your youth. Otherwise, we wouldn't have enough soldiers like doing this um, uh, killing people like in Iraq and Libya now and, and Vietnam and all, the whole bloody thing. You know? And um, so, like what they do in Hollywood, they indoctrinate, indoctrinate our children and they um, uh, show it. It's so great to put a 9mm in somebody's forehead. You know, with some nice music with it, and everybody can be the hero, you know, in the personification of heroism. And this is why we've got, you know, soldiers, police force. They're very smart. Very smart. And here they are. In the first base in Europe, Switzerland, the first pharaonic base. Here we are again, a bit closer. You see how this carved on top is just similar to circumcision. See? People just walk past it for, you know, the whole life and they don't understand it, they don't even see it. They think it's a pole for the lamp, a lamp post here. Yeah. Gotcha! <laughs> 